the show. As any Russian dissident can tell you, one super fun feature of creeping totalitarianism is the way politics seeps into every corner of private life and ruins the things you used to enjoy. Like weekends. <laughs> Remember those? Also, romance. Your book club, church, shul, even your favorite comedy shows. Lord, we need a break. Let's spend a few minutes on something that's wholesome, good, and untainted by politics. Food. In our new segment, Governor Scott Walker has a horrifying relationship with food, a full frontal investigation. I'm sorry, that's as far from politics as this show can manage. Now, you may recall the Wisconsin governor got some attention in November for his unique take on the lunch Instagram. To me, ham and cheese is something I've had for, boy, about 25 years. Two ham and cheese sandwiches most days packed in a brown bag. I'm just a normal guy. Yeah. Unless you're a koala bear, eating the same thing every day for a quarter century isn't normal. That is 19,000 ham sandwiches. You've eaten more pig than Kermit the Frog. Now, sure, there's nothing wrong with brown bagging your lunch to work every day. I myself bring a homemade kale and garlic melange that my staff fondly says smells like a rabbit's resected bowel. What I don't do is publicly document my gross lunch over and over and over and over and over like Andy Warhol with a fucking soup can. What the hell is this? An ad for your lunch's one-man show? But Scott's sandwich is only the beginning of this story slash cry for help. Our researchers discovered that Governor Walker consumes enough garbage to kill a junkyard rat. A steady diet of fast food, corn dogs and waffles, cheese curds with ice cream, chili, sad gray meat, miscellaneous deep fried things, some sort of heavy cream jello salad, a village's annual meat ration, the human atrocity that is circus peanuts, and something that's either raw hamburger with chunks of cheese in it or a Scott Walker stool sample. I am just kidding about that last one. Scott Walker clearly has not moved his bowels since the 1980s. Now, Walker's staff can't even be catty about Hillary Clinton without working in Big Macs. Stuck up bitch doesn't paw the McDonald's staff, lock her up. But Walker's Insta ham feed is just the tip of the iceberg. The Titanic kind of iceberg, not the vegetable that Scott Walker carefully picks off his hoagie before gulping it like an anaconda while three guys stand around waiting to Heimlich him. Real Milwaukee live at the Wisconsin State Fair, and look who we found. Governor Scott Walker joining us this morning. Good morning. Some goodies already. I know. I'm 72 sorry. new food items, and one of them is deep fried chocolate chip cookie bites from Sazas. Can you imagine that? That wow. sounds perfect. That sounds for delicious. Breakfast. breakfast. Oh my God, are you five? Wait a, wait a minute. The guy loves state fairs, eats like a small child, is stuck in the Reagan era. Oh my God, did a young Scott Walker go to a state fair and wish to be big on a Zoltar machine? <laughs> then realize that being an adult sucks, so now he's trying to eat himself to death? If so, it's a mission that literally nothing can deter him from. He tried to eat a Philly cheesesteak in peace while two men stood behind him, holding up signs reading, Scott Walker sniffs his own poop and Scott Walker lives inside my butt. Oh, no. Silly protesters. The idea of living in your butt can't ruin Walker's appetite. He just imagines all the delicious undigested corn he'd find in there. Now, you may be wondering, does the care and feeding of Walker's mutant tapeworm leave him any time to sign laws? Indeed it does. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker has signed off on the first bill to pass the legislature this season, and it's all about cheese. See, state lawmakers know if they want the governor to swallow a bill, they just have to hide it in a hunk of cheese. What's the best cheese to wrap a 20-week abortion ban in? Colby's our state cheese, but I love cheddar. Done! And what cheese goes with a budget stripping Wisconsin workers of their living wage? Just about any cheese, as long as it's from Wisconsin, is pretty good. That is true of cheese, maybe not true of politicians. The only people who spend more time thinking about food than Walker are people who can't afford to eat. Unfortunately, Walker thinks about them a lot, too. In Milwaukee, Governor Scott Walker says parents of children ages 6 to 18 should have to work or get job training to keep their food share benefits. 
We fundamentally believe that public assistance should be a trampoline, not a hammock. Oh, please, like you've ever stepped on a trampoline. One jump and you'd be puking up 25 years of half-digested ham. <laughs> Actually, Governor Walker would prefer public assistance to be an obstacle course. Walker sent Trump a letter yesterday asking that his incoming administration not block a state law requiring drug tests for childless adults on food stamps. Yeah, if you're looking for people getting high, maybe start by testing the dude who eats like a sophomore reggae aficionado. <laughs> Humiliating the needy by making them piss in a cup before eating sounds like a great idea, I know, but it turns out to be pointless and wasteful. When it was tried elsewhere, they found only 2.6% of welfare recipients tested positive for illegal drugs, well below the general population. And anyway, last I checked, weed was a lot less hazardous to your health than turning your body into the Midwest's biggest hog rendering plant. <laughs> so what does Mr. Small Government think Wisconsinites should splurge on? Governor Scott Walker announcing today the upcoming state budget will include a request for $6 million to upgrade the Cream Pub Pavilion there at State Fair Park. Six million. Sorry, kids, we spent your food bank money making the cream puff pavilion better, stronger, fatter. Honestly, I don't care what Scott let them eat ham Walker puts in his gaping maw, <laughs> but if he wants to keep pandering to his base by making it harder for hungry people to get basic sustenance, then might I suggest he sate his appetite by eating a bag of dicks. <laughs> we'll be right back.